Um, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Nashua. I would like to introduce myself uh, before I start. I have an amazing participant, Ming and Sarah, with me today. So uh, I'm a Japanese. I live in Singapore about 60 years. And, and I've been practicing this intuitive flow, which is a meditative movement practice over the decades. How I started, I encountered the dance, which was a belly dance when I was 19. And then my teacher was the combining the dance and the spirituality and the mindfulness. And then I learned we're the more than the physical body, we're the energy self, we're the emotional self, and we're the spirit self. And then combining all, experiencing all, is actually giving me the joy and the happiness and then in the health, in physical and the mental. So this is how I created this intuitive flow to be in the state of the stillness, to be completely relaxing, to let go all the tension from the body through a movement. So before we start, I would like to uh, check in. This is really important. How you're feeling today? how your body feeling, how your mind feeling, and what is your expectation for this session. So here in this third studio, a beautiful studio, uh, I would like to ask a participant how they're feeling today. So I mean, would you like to start? Feeling a little tired. Feeling a little tired. Yeah, this is a Sunday morning. That's right. Yes. Great, feeling more energized. Yes, for sure. Thank you. So, Sarah, would you like to uh, share how you're feeling? Yeah, feeling you're feeling great. Yes, awesome. Feel, feel like what you said, more energized. Yeah, more yeah. I think that's about it. Everybody, Sunday morning, right? So, uh, here we are. Uh, okay, so uh, I would like to take some moment to really, really start doing very simple things, which is a breathing. So you can close your eyes or keep eye, eye half shut and take a deep breath in, opening your arms. And then exhale, close your arms. A couple of times, inhale, open your arms. And then exhale, letting out. One more time, take a deep inhale, open your arms. And exhale, relax your arms down. Just notice how your body feel. You might feel a little more relaxed than before. You might feel a little more open. So here, I would like to start with uh, Kuan Chikon. I'm sure you ever heard of the Chikon. So Chikon movement is the come from a lot of the structure of the warrior. So Chikon movement is a mixture of the dance. All right. The purpose of the Qigong movement is to enhance your inner peace, your inner compassion and unconditional love. So start with the two feet apart to the shoulder distance and completely relax your body. All right, great. Okay, I think I, um, I can, I will stand here and maybe you can look this way or yeah okay I'll, I'll anyway i'll stand here i think this is good okay so um first of all let your body completely relax from the top of your head all the way down to the feet so bring your palms the two finger below your navel this is one of the energy gateway called the dai tin have a moment to connect and breathe in and in and out a couple of times. And now keep your knee bent as you slowly bring your arms up to the sky. And then slowly standing up, bring your arms down. Exhale. Continue. Breathe in. If you feel you want to open your leg a little bit more, just go ahead to do so. Your comfort is most important. A couple of times, spread it in. And inhale, stretch, and exhale down. Bring your arms down. You're doing great. Trust your body, trust your flow. 
Inhale, open, and then exhale. Continue this movement. I will explain what is happening to your body while you're doing this. So this movement is considered to connect the ground, sky, and the universe as a one. So Qigong is a practice to empower your energy inward. So while you're doing this, you're gonna bring the qi, which is energy from the universe into your body through a five energy gateway. The center of the soles of the feet, the center of your dai tian, two finger below your navel, center of your heart, and in the top of your crown. And the last one, the center of your palms. And while you're doing this, the chi from the energy just surround your body and it's enter within you through the pore. A couple times more. Breathing. Move your arms all the way up. Also feel the nice stretch in your body. Take a deep inhale and an exhale. Trust your own flow and trusting your body. Welcome in the energy flow inside of your body. And last one. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. So all this practice is not about how you look. It's not about the idea whether right and wrong. It's about all about how you feel. So really, really honor how you feel in your body. All right. So next one. Next one is calling travel east world across the ocean this is also the coining chicken practice and we're going to step into the warm-up this is just a, a beginning of the warm-up to really like gently start moving your body all right so i want you to explore the way shift side to side right and the left this enhance your comfort Yes, very good, right and left. As you do, let your arms follow the movement. Let your arms follow the movement, beautiful. And expand the arm movement from down to slowly up and take it slow. Keep breathing. And an arm, this is just Travel all the way up to the sky. Continue. Way shift. Again, it's not about how you look. It's not about you doing right and wrong. It's about you experience the movement on your own way. So trust on your own flow. Trust your body. Relax your mind. Beautiful. And a couple times more. Arms up to the sky. And the other side. Keep breathing so that chi, the energy flow inside of your body. Let's do two times more. Up. And the other way. And back to center. I hope you feel your body warmed up. So we're gonna slowly step into a warm up. All right, so uh, let me just quickly change the music. Yes, thank you. Okay, so it's gonna be a little more active movement, but again, no worries and no forcing and take it easy, be free. So this is the intuitive flow is it's all about free movement you don't have to do the exactly same as i do this is not a dance class this is not about technique and the rhythm and a step this is about you explore inside all right so let's do a 
Take deep inhalation up to the sky. And exhale. Ha. Bend your knees. Very good. Couple of times. Inhale up to the sky. And look up. And exhale down. Ha. Very good. Let's do one more time. Inhale. Up. And exhale. You can shake your body to let go, to release the tension. Inhale up and exhale. So from here, I want you to bend your knees. Let's go. <sighs> Open your soul. Open your leg. Your knees are facing diagonal. Very good. Together with the rhythm, your own rhythm. <sighs> Keep breathing, feeling the strength. Very good, a couple times more. Let me free in your upper body. Very good. A little bit more. Keep inhale and exhaling. Whole point is to relax and let go. Very good. Okay, so now let's take a deep inhalation again. So from here, um, you go all the way down to the whoo, downward dog. Very good. Okay. So one leg up, the right leg up, if you can. Yep. And then stepping forward. Okay. And I know it's a bit too tough. So slowly come up and put your arms up. Yep. And then the arms forward. Yes. So you're going to explore some soft movement here. Four and back. Very good. Feeling some soft in your spine. Okay. So put your arms up. And if you can, come to the back and come across. Okay, good. So now let's explore some shaking. I know it was a little challenging. <laughs> it was like, oh no, what's going on? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it happened. So here, it's all about shaking. Why we shake? Why we shake our body? Because to release our body know how to relax ourselves. One of the way to is shaking moving bouncing <sighs> because our mind is it within our physical body when we out move our body when we move our arms when we shake our leg when we shake our shoulder the organs inside of us also shake together that helps that helps to let go of your thought all right okay so again trust your body shake on your own way ah very good okay keep shaking you can go into the jumping also, this is the intuitive flow is an amazing practice for the inspiration, for the creativity, imagination, visualization. If you're calling to have some inspiration in your life, it's good to move a body as well. <sighs> Into the playfulness, get out of your comfortable zone. <sighs> be silly, be playful. Just to shake things up. Amazing. Ooh, a little bit more. Very good. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And open, keep, always keep your mouth open so the energy in, 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 and out. Very good. So slowly come to the heart. 
Put your arms into your heart. Very good. So we're going to explore some another elements as a warm up. Inhale and then exhale. So now take a deep inhale, open your arms. And then exhale, close your arms. And just slightly roll your back. Very good. So now we're warming up our upper body. Inhalation, extend your spine, exhale. Now bending your knees, in and again, roll your back. And then inhale, and then exhale. Little faster, in, exhale. Open and close, in, extend and curve. So this is a practice to open your heart space, another energy gateway, and stretch your spine. Bringing in all the new energy into your body. Very good. Awesome. Okay, so let your body relax. We're done with the warm up. So now, it's a time for us to dance to into the main part of this intuitive flow. So we're gonna step into a dancing. When I say dance, people say, I can't dance. But what we do, what we do now, standing, moving, put the, take a phone. This is all the movement. This is all the dance. So no worries, trust your body. Again, this is a free movement. I would like to invite you to explore the movement, that uh, creativity in your body. So there is a four stage. What we're gonna start with grounding. The theme of the first movement, first stage is the grounding. I want you to let your body and then ground when we ground the movement, when we go through this movement, we're going to use more of the lower body. Keep your knee bent. Explore your own movement. And then you can always trust the music. Maybe it will be nice to have a, a music a little more volume. Yeah, it's also important you have a, a good music and a good volume so that you feel uh, inspired. Yeah. <sighs> and you don't have to sit in the one place and always you can walk around. Move around. All of you are doing great. Yes, you're doing perfect. And then you might feel a little shy. You might feel lost. That's a normal, that's a natural. But always come back to breath, breathing in and out. And then always come back to the simple movement. and then enjoy the expression, enjoy the movement, enjoy the flow. <sighs> while we are doing this again, while we are doing this practice, to relax our mind, open our heart, let go all the tension and the stress out from our body, Experience something we don't usually experience in our daily life. Just slightly go step out of the comfortable zone to find a stillness. Yes. And you're the perfect path. You can go into some hip movement. This is another great movement. 
for you to feel the ground, for you to feel relaxed. Grounding energy is all about comfort, the connection, the feeling the safe, feeling the protected. And again, you can let your eye close. This is a powerful practice to bring your awareness inward. <sighs> Very good. A little bit more. Bring your awareness from your head all the way to your heart. How you feel. Yeah. Any movement of welcome here, any expression of welcome here. This is all about experience, exploring. And again, this is your individual experience. It's not about you compete with the others. Again, it's not about how you look. And it's all about how you feel. If you feel nervous, if you feel lost, if you don't know what to do, keep your eye closed. And connect this rhythm, rhythm of the grounding, rhythm of the earth inside of your body, your own way. And let your body completely relax. into the more of the relaxing, into the more of the calm, into the more of the peace. So slowly the music is uh, calming, ending. So I would like to experience together with you the next movement. That was a beautiful grounding energy. I hope, I hope you feel more calm. I hope you feel more knowing what to do. Uh, I hope you feel more comfortable with your own body, comfortable where you are. So next movement is a flowing, like a river, like an ocean. So the movement is more soft. And it goes more deep within yourself into that area of your Emotion. Ooh. If that feels comfortable, I would like to suggest you, encourage you to move your hip because this is the area, energy area, to directly connect to the energy of the fluidity. It's gonna be a lot of the wave movement. And it's so good just let your eyes close. Keep your eye closed. And then in a move and then a dance into your own vision. And feel the how energy wave into your body. This is the way. 
to let your body relax. This is the way to calm your sympathetic nerve. There's so many we can do. And I'm gonna into the softness, into the wave. Yes, beautiful. Yes. Ah, keep breathing in and out, trusting your own flow. Just feeling really, really good with your body, with the, all the softness and the gentleness and the fluidity. Without thinking, shut your mind, bring awareness into your beautiful body. Without any expectation, without any agenda, without any goal, you don't have to do anything. You just, we just need to be being, we just need to be. How easy it is, but sometimes I know it feels really challenging, especially in this modern society. We always have to get things done. We always have to be fast. Our brain structure like that. But then this is the way we just keep the space, create some space, let our body to go through a little different journey. The journey of the relaxing, journey of the letting go, journey of the finding and the inner peace. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, yes. I hope you feel more relaxed, more kind of like soft and gentle. I can see really difference from you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. now I feel, I feel that you're uh, you're more relaxed before maybe like you're not sure what to do what's the experience but then when you really close your eyes allow yourself surrender in just moment there's a magic happen so the next one this is easy just imagine you're in a club what are you gonna do you dance right this is a sober dancing yeah and with the barefoot no stimulation and then all the magic happen by moving your body. Okay, good. Into the shaking, into the more of the connecting the rhythm. Yeah. And here, the key is get out of your comfortable zone. I know you might feel, oh, I'm shy, or I feel nervous. No, 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 no. This is a practice. Practice make us stronger. Let's go. Keep moving. Just allow yourself to be weird. Sometimes it's okay. Yeah. Whew. Keep breathing. Keep the bringing the chi inside. Okay, let's go. Everybody shake. Ha. And I'm going to explore some playfulness. <sighs> yeah, it's also nice. So look at this so beautiful patty spend there shining, laughing, expressing, enjoying being themselves. So I want you to do the same. <sighs> allow yourself, allow your face just to express. Yeah. And then again, it's good sometimes, close your eyes to really go deep within. Whew. Here we go. Keep shaking. <sighs> I 
I can see some staff are also uh, dancing as well. This is amazing. Dancing is contagious. We have to do this more often to change our energy, to change the energy in the space. Ha! You can put your hands up. We can dance so well in the club. Why don't we do this? We can also do outside as well, right? Hey. Very good, very nice. Nice. And shake, shake. If you, if you find yourself, if you find yourself, your mind will limit you. Oh, I cannot do this. Oh, I feel shy. Just go a little bit beyond. Just to put your hands up and then shake. It's easy, yeah, and to see how you feel. All right. And then notice how you feel after this. Oof. Go more in and in and more. Challenge your body. Let your body move. Let's go, shake, Oof. and you can use your voice as well, you can raise your voice, ha, <sighs> this is a great way to release, this is a practice, the shake is a practice of the release, let it go, <sighs> whatever you feel, anger, worry, stress, it's just a shake it out, <sighs> Very good, yes. All right, keep your mind open. We're gonna have a little bit more journey of this shaking, bouncing, jumping. Ah. Keep breathing, trust your body. <sighs> Let it out. It's not about how you look, but how you feel. Till the end, encourage yourself. Take your courage to move the way you usually don't and see how that feels to your body. Ah. Yes, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. Hmm. And again, as you can see, I'm not doing any technique, but I'm just being free. I'm allowing myself to be free. This is all about this beautiful practice. Ah. Get out of the structure. Supposed to be, have to be. Just be free. Yeah, beautiful. Ha! Ah, this is all about you allowing yourself to take this courage to just to step out of the box. Ah. Yes. Ah. I'm sure you feel nice sweat. Yeah, I hope you feel nice sweat. I hope you like the music. Uh, I hope you just enjoy yourself. This is all, uh, all it matters. And we're going to um, the last stage, which is a flowing. Uh, floating, more like a floating. We did uh, some uh, nice flowing. So floating is it's an uplifting energy. We start with the ground and we just explore some water elements and we went to some firing energy. And then now at the end, we are going to lift the energy and then maybe put your arms up. 
and use your arms like a wing. Remember, every time you move your hands, it allows to open your heart space. Heart space is another energy gateway. And visualize yourself flying in the air using your arms as the wing. Keep breathing in and out as you create the space within your body. Trust the body, trust your music, trust the flow. It really helps to look up and the sea beyond. I'm sure you can see your house ceiling, but beyond that, what's above? There's a sky and there's a universe, limitless space. Why don't we take some time to connect this limit space? Visualize opening your crown space. Reaching all the way up to the sky. Using your arms, extend yourself. Breathing in and out. Feel the space around you. And again, it's not about how you look. And also, I want to invite you to turn and move around like a bird, like an angel, whatever you can connect to. Ooh. And always relax your mind. Relax your body. Moving your arms as if it's your wing to fly. Stretch your arms side to side. As you move your arms, it open your heart. Let's enjoy this opportunity together to express, to use the body different way as we do in our daily life, to tap into your creativity, inspiration, visualization. And slowly music is ending. Everybody let's take a deep breath in, look up. And exhale, beautiful. Just feeling some, some space within. Inhale. And, and, and exhale. That was really, 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 really amazing. And I hope you feel more open. I hope you feel more relaxed. I hope you feel more calm still so i would like to invite you at the closure of this session if you have a yoga mat with you please bring the yoga mat because i want you to lie down we're gonna do some um more into the meditative states and using the touch. So I'm from Japan and in, in my culture, Japanese culture, the healing, the translation in Japanese, literally the palm touching. Yeah. And the Asian people know we have a power of the healing. So please, uh, you can lie down, uh, you can sit first. Yeah. 
So what we're gonna do is the palm touching, which is a healing. It says in the middle of our palms, there's the energy center which connects to the heart, compassion, unconditional love. So when we do the touch, we generate love, the mother love. We generate the compassion. We generate the healing within us. So let your body completely relax. Yeah. And you can exhale first, close your eyes. Just imagine as you exhale, sinking down to the ground. If lying down feel more comfortable for you, go ahead to lie down. Yeah, you can lie down. Whatever feels comfortable. I would like to invite everybody to take the space to relax your body, either sitting or lying down. As you exhale, ah, calm your body naturally, let your eye close. Inhale into your heart space. And then again, exhale, letting go. Release and then relax. Finding some stillness in your body, in your mind. Be the one with the stillness. Continue breathing in your own way, taking you into the space of the peace, space of the calm, free from the anxiety, free from the stress and tension. And also remember, it's also natural then your mind continuously brings some thought. You might think, oh, what I'm gonna eat, where I'm gonna go today, it's natural. But then try not to stay there. Observe your thought from the thought. So on your own position, just put the palms together. Just put the palms together, yes. And then from the top of your head, just gently press your palms down and receive this warm, come forth, loving energy from your palms. Clean it some way and slower, slowly slower down, lower down to your eyes. And into your ears. keeping entire body relaxed and to your throat and then bring it down to your heart space just feel some nice wave Pressing down to your heart, sending love, compassion, unconditional love to you from you, the connection between you. Exhale longer, so your body knows it's time to relax and slowly bring your arms down to your diatin the three finger below your navels. And then remember, the center of our palms is the where the healing energy comes, which already within you. And again, trust your body. So this session is slowly ending. I just want you to Keep where you are, no need to stand up or come up. This is a Sunday, 
and this is a beautiful space where you are where you connect just lie down as much as you want and enjoy this time of the stillness this time of the connection this time of the gentle awakening and at the end of the session i would like to thank everyone national gallery class bus blue sky escapes for creating this opportunity for all for us and thank you and i'm wishing you the beautiful beautiful day beautiful tour continuous tour and thank you for connecting with us so please enjoy your journey and remember all within you And you can relax your hands and relax where you are. Bring your awareness always to your breathing. So we can come and start seated on the floor. Just find uh, a comfortable seated position. If you don't like being on the floor this way, you can sit up on a block. You can sit in your most comfortable position. You're at home, nobody knows. <laughs> okay, once you've found your seated position, just close your eyes gently. Place your hands however you like. Start to take, to uh, take stock of your own breath. Allow your belly to relax. Allow your shoulders to relax. And allow your whole body to surrender to the mat. Notice how your body reacts to the breath. Observe it expanding on the inhale. And notice your shoulders dropping its tension at, on the exhale. Notice the spine getting longer on the inhale. And your hips, your seat, getting a little heavier on the exhale. Just like that, inhale and exhale. There's nothing complicated about it. Just keep your breath smooth and gentle. You should start to feel a good rhythm of your breath. And all we are trying to do today in 30 minutes is to keep this breath with you. 
if you find that you're struggling with the movements, if you find that you're struggling to keep up, all you have to do is just breathe. Continue inhaling and exhaling. Maintain the rhythm of your breath on your own exhalation. Join your hands at your heart center. Bow down towards your fingertips. Acknowledge your own self, your own body, your own breath and your own practice. From here, lift, the, your, lift your head up to face forwards and raise your hands all the way up towards the sky or towards the ceiling. Interlock your fingers together, turn the palms up and stretch. Give yourselves a good long stretch here. Feel free to sway side to side, stretching out the sides of the body. You can keep your eyes closed here, or you can gently open them. And breathe into the sides of the body as you move around. Start to let your spine find its mobility. Coming back to the center, press your palms up towards the ceiling or the sky. Inhale, lift, the, lift your head up. And gently blink, open your eyes if you have it closed. Look up, find your hands. Bring your hands behind your head. Just have a couple of planes here. Lift your chest towards the sky, open your elbows up. Then from here, press your hands into your head, bring your chin down to your chest. Breathe into the back of your neck, the back of your shoulders. Lift your face up to look forwards and release your hands. Okay. Now we're going to stretch to the side. So left hand comes down, right hand goes up. Inhale here. And as you exhale, walk your hands over towards the left side. Stretch your right hand to the left. Keep your right hip down as you stretch your right fingertips away from your hips. So breathe into the right side of the body. As you exhale, you're going to turn down facing the left side of your mat. Right fingertips touch down onto the floor. Then turn the belly towards the left side of your thigh. You should feel the stretch move towards the lower back. You can either stay here up on your fingertips or you can walk your fingertips a little further away from you, keeping both hips down onto the floor. So that right butt cheek comes down, stretch it back down. stretch. That's it. Walk your hands back towards your knees. Okay. Place your right hand on your left knee. Left fingertips go behind you. Stand up tall. And twist. So twist the chest towards the left side. All the way. And exhale, release. We'll switch sides here. <laughs> right fingertips come down, left arm up. Inhale. As you exhale, walk over towards the right side. Just breathe into the left side of the body. Left hip comes down onto the floor. Exhale, place both hands down towards the right side of your mat. That's it. Turn the chest down towards the floor. Keep your left back side down. Either stay here or continue to walk your hands away from your right knee. Just breathe into that low back. Keep your left butt cheek down. Remember to breathe, inhale and exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back towards your right knee. Come back up. Place your left hand on your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, turn and twist towards the right side. 
With every inhale, you sit up a little bit taller. With every exhale, rotate the chest over towards the right. Inhale, come back to centre and release. Okay, let's come onto the mat, hands onto the floor, knees onto the floor in an all fours position. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. We're going to do cat cow, five rounds of cat cow. On your inhale, we're going to curl the spine upwards and forwards. Tilt the tailbone all the way up towards the ceiling. Draw the shoulders back, let your chest move forwards and through. Exhale, push your hands down into the floor, round the back. Just like that, cat and cow. Inhale, cow. Rise, lift the chest up. Lift the chin up, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, push down into the floor. Press the spine all the way up to the sky. Move your tailbone down and under. Inhale. Breathe into this. Exhale. Inhale, last two. Pull the hands back towards your knees. Let your chest move forwards even more. Exhale, push your hands down and forwards. Press the spine all the way up towards the ceiling or the sky. Last one, inhale. Feel the spine move, the whole spine move. Exhale. Curl in, round in. Inhale, come back up to the neutral spine. Find that straight line from your uh, forehead all the way down to the tailbone. Pull the abs in slightly. Inhale, reach your right hand forwards and your left leg backwards. Keep them away from the floor here. Stretch your right fingertips forwards and your left foot backwards. Exhale, bring your knee and elbow into touch. Crunch in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, touch. That's it. Inhale, reach. Breathe here. Exhale, touch. Last two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, touch. Last one. Inhale, reach. Pair the breath and movement. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach. From here, we're going to move the right foot, the one that's down on the floor, slightly over to the left side, uh, to the right side, my bad. Right hand comes down onto the floor. Stretch your left hand forwards and stretch your left leg backwards. Okay, here we're going to still do some crunches. So left leg away from the floor here, away from the floor. Right leg slightly over to the right side. Exhale, bring your knee and elbow to touch. So same hand, same leg crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, touch, crunch in. That's it. Inhale, reach. You're facing uh, the left side of your mat completely. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, reach. Last two. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Last one. Crunch. Inhale, reach. From here, open the chest. Stretch your fingers and toes away from each other. Face the left side of the room all the way. Exhale, come down onto the mat. All fours. Back into all fours. As a reset your breath, reset your belly, reset your spine. From here, reach your left hand forwards and your right leg backwards. So opposite hand, opposite leg again. Left hand forwards, right, knee, uh, left, right leg backwards. Exhale, crunch in, knee and elbow touch. Inhale, reach. Pair breath and movement. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach. Last two. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, touch. Inhale, reach. Stay here. Stretch knee, uh, stretch foot and fingers away from each other. Left foot moves slightly over to the left side. Find your balance. Left hand comes down onto the floor. You're going to turn towards the right side of your mat. Stretch your right hand and your right foot away from each other. Bicep by the side of your ears. Exhale, knee and elbow crunch in again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, reach. Two more good ones. Exhale, in. Inhale, reach. Last one. Exhale, in. Touch. Inhale, reach. Stretch as far away as you can. Right fingertips and right foot away from each other. Exhale, come back down. Back to all fours. Take a breather here in all fours. Move around if you need to. We're coming into downward facing dog next. So plant your hands down onto the floor. Hands spread shoulder width apart, second fingers point straight forwards. Grip the mat through your fingertips. From here, press your toes down onto the floor. Lift your knees up and away from the floor. Come into a plank position. If you need to, move your feet back. So you continue to keep your shoulders right on top of your wrists. Strong legs, straight spine. As you exhale, push your hands down and forwards. Reach your hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
Now from here, once you reach your downward facing dog, go ahead and just walk your legs out. So as though you're walking on the spot here. Bend one knee at a time. Let the back of your legs feel comfortable. If you like to just rock your hips from side to side, go ahead and do so as well. Stretching the sides of the body, the back of the legs. When you're ready, come into a stationary downward facing dog. Push your hands down and forwards. Tilt the tailbone towards the ceiling. Stretch the back of your legs down towards the floor. Nice. Take one more breath here as you push your hands deep down into the floor. Press the back of your heels down to the floor as well. Down and back. Join your feet together. Inhale, reach your right leg up. That's it. Lift your left heel up as well. Get even higher. Nice. Exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand. Lizard. Hey, here, if you like an easier option, you can place your back knee down onto the floor. If not, keep your back knee up and away from the floor. Inhale, reach the chest forwards. Send your hips down. Breathe into the inside of your right thigh. Take one more breath. Let your hips go a little bit lower. Lift the chest up high. As you exhale, this time around, place the back knee down onto the floor. If that's too much pressure for you, you can use a towel or a knee pad underneath your left knee. Point your right toes up towards the ceiling and then shift the hips back into a half split. That's it. Press your hands or fingertips down and forwards and then move the chest forwards. Find that lift of the tailbone towards the ceiling. Breathe into the back of your right leg. One more breath, inhale, move the chest a little further forwards through the gateway of your arms. And as you exhale, plant the right foot back down onto the floor. Everybody feeling okay? <laughs> Place your left hand down onto the floor, turn towards the right side, reach your right arm up. Spin the chest towards your arm while your fingers point straight up towards the ceiling. Inhale, turn a little bit more. As you exhale, bring your right elbow down towards your right heel. So now work the inside of your right thigh and your right obliques. One more time, inhale, turn up towards the sky, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right elbow down towards the inside of your right heel. Get a little bit lower. Inhale, reach back up again, open up your chest. Keep turning towards where your hand is. Now point your fingers towards the back of your mat. Okay, press your left hand down, turn the chest to look towards your hand. From here, bend your left knee. Bend your left knee, point the toes up towards the ceiling. And then grab hold of the outside of your foot. Turn the chest more towards the right side. And then kick the foot away from you. Squeeze your backside, lower the hips down. That's it, there we go. Turn the chest a little bit more. Push your foot away from your backside. Everybody doing okay here? Exhale, release both hands down onto the floor. We're going to take it back to downward facing dog. Step the foot back, and then walk your legs out again. Feel that difference between right leg, left leg. We're going to the second side now. Join your feet together. Inhale, lift your left leg up. In one sweeping movement, exhale. You're going to step that left foot outside of your left hand. Keep the back knee up. If you want a little bit more, if not, place the right, um, yeah, if not, place the right knee down onto the floor. Lower the hips down, lift the chest up, lizard. Keep lifting chest upwards, hips downwards. Breathe here. Stretching the front of the right hip and the inside of the left hip. Place your right knee down onto the floor for the half split. If you need a towel or a knee pad, go ahead and grab it. Point your left toes up towards the sky. Push your hands down into the floor. Slide the hips back for the half split. That's it. Inhale, move the chest forwards. And as you exhale, keep moving your belly towards the inside of your thigh. Breathe here. So it doesn't matter whether your left knee is straight. You want to keep your spine as neutral as you can. You should be able to feel a hamstring stretch already. That's it. Inhale, come forwards again. Plant your left foot down onto the floor. Keep your right hand onto the floor. Turn towards the left side. Lift your left arm up. Point your left hand vertically towards the sky, but turn the chest towards your left hand instead. Inhale. As you exhale, left elbow down towards the inside of your left heel. Crunch in. 
inhale, reach, turn and twist through the chest. Everybody's looking good here. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, reach back up again. Turn, turn chest towards your hand. Now from here, point your fingers towards the back edge of your mat and turn your chest to look towards your fingers. Then bend your right knee, point your toes towards the sky and grab hold of the outside of your right foot. Okay, so grab hold of the outside of the foot instead where the, the little toe is, that's it. Inhale, turn and turn, uh, twist the chest over towards the left side and then kick the foot away from you. Squeeze your right back side, send your right hip down towards the floor. Turn the chest a little bit more, that's it, nice. Exhale, both hands down onto the floor and you're going to step back into downward facing dog. Pedal your legs out if that feels good to you. Inhale, come forward to the plank. Realign your shoulders right on top of your wrists. And if you need to, just step your feet back so that you align yourself in a plank position. Nice, strong arms, strong legs, strong abs. Exhale, push your hips up and back again. Back into that downward facing dog. Send the tailbone high up towards the sky. We're going to take it to the floor. Inhale, come forward to the plank. Knees come down onto the floor. Inhale, arch the chest into cow. So backside goes high up, tailbone high up, chest forwards. Yep, that's it. Exhale, bend your elbows and send your chest in between your arms or in between your hands for knees, chest, chin. Okay, hips still stay up, hips still stay up. That's it. Keep moving your chest downwards instead. Nice. Walk your knees back, lower yourselves all the way down. Okay, untuck your toes. Toes point towards the back of the mat. Interlock your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulders towards the spine and then straighten your elbows. Press your backside and your hips down into the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up and then lift the legs up. Locust pose. Press your backside deep down into the floor and stretch your hands and toes towards the back of your mat. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher, thighs off the floor. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Release your hands. Place your hands by the sides of your chest for cobra. Keep pointing your toes towards the back of your mat. From here, press your hips down into the floor again. Engage your, back, uh, your backside. Inhale, curl the chest forwards and upwards. Cobra. Keep the corner of your hip bones down onto the floor, pubic bone down onto the floor as well. You're going to drag your hands towards the back of your mat and shine your chest forwards. One breath here. Inhale, lift the chest up high. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Walk your legs out. Nice. Push your hands deep down. Stretch it straight and long. Right here. As you exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. You're going to ground your heels as soon as you can. Place your fingertips on your shin bones. Inhale, lengthen the spine forwards towards the front of your mat. Straighten your legs. Feel the back of your legs stretch. As you exhale, if you need to, just soften the back of your knees. Hold on to your ankles. Pull yourself deep down into your legs. Pull yourself all the way in half. So you can hold on to the outsides of your legs. Yeah, that makes it a little bit easier to grab. While pulling yourself down into your legs, soften the back of your knees just a little bit. Yep, you want to squeeze yourself in into your legs a little bit more. That's it. While keeping yourselves compressed onto your legs, press your feet down into the floor. Squeeze the front of your thighs and try to straighten out your legs bit by bit. Keeping your body really close towards your thighs. Breathe here into the back of your legs. Inhale into the back of the body. Exhale, let's fold a little bit deeper, straightening out that le your legs. Inhale, come up all the way. Raise your hands up towards the sky. And let the breath explode here in the body. Exhale, hands to heart. Touch your thumbs in the front of your chest. Feel your heart beating. That's it. Inhale, raise your hands up towards the sky again. Reach up. And as you exhale, sit back down into an imaginary chair. Imagine that stool there. Good. Press your knees out just gently, ever so slightly, so that your knees point in the same direction as your toes. 
pull the tummy in and lift the chest up towards your hands. Inhale. As you exhale, this time we're going to squat all the way down really slowly. So come down for five, lower your bum down. Four, three, you're almost coming into a squat here. Two, you're almost touching the floor here. And one, all the way down. Turn your feet out to the sides. Can place your hands down on the floor now. Point your knees out to uh, the same direction as your toes. All right, that's it. Okay, now we're going to uh, grab hold of the outsides of your mat. Keep your hips uh, towards the floor behind you and walk your hands forwards. Push the edges of the mat out and away from your body. Breathe into the stretch. You should feel your lower back being stretched here. Walk your hands back towards you. Inhale. We're going to keep your squat for now. Um, bring the elbows on the insides of your knees, join the palms together, raise the chest up. Thumbs in the middle of your chest. Breathing into the inner thighs. That's it. Place your hands down onto the floor. Now we're going to lie down onto the floor, face up towards the ceiling. Okay? So we're just going to lie with our feet towards that side. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to lie down on the floor here. Keep your knees bent and your feet down on the floor, flat down. Okay. Yep. From here, we're just going to do a couple of twists. Um, so press your feet down into the floor. We're just going to use that to lift your hips up slightly and move your hips all the way to the right side of your mat and then place it down again. So your backside should be on the right side of your mat. Okay, then drop the knees down to the left side of your mat. Yep, yep, exactly what you're doing here. Keep the knees in the same line as your hips. Okay, so you're gonna come up with your knees here. Yep, like so, yes. Okay, so you're gonna shift your hips further towards the right side of your mat and move your knees up, same line as your hips, right here. So eventually what you want is for your right hip to be stacked on top of your left hip. Turn the chest towards the right side of your mat. So both shoulders touch the floor. Okay. So breathe into that twist in the middle of your spine. And release. We're going to switch sides, so both feet down on the floor. This time, you're going to shift your hips all the way to the left side of the mat before you place it down. Then drop your knees over towards the right side. Stack your left hip on top of your right hip. Then turn the left shoulder all the way down to the floor on the left side. So your hips twist one way, your chest twist the other way. Breathe here. Some of you might have that left shoulder higher off the mat. So the breath is to just help you settle the back of your body. Coming back up to a neutral position. Move your hips back towards the middle of your mat. Knees point up towards the ceiling or the sky. Right ankle on top of your left knee. Okay, so your legs kind of form like a figure four position. Yep. Okay, then lift your left leg off the floor. Okay, move your right hand underneath your left, your right, uh, right leg, and catch hold of your hands in front of your left leg or behind the left thigh, so whichever that's more accessible for you. From here, gently pull the legs in towards your chest. Breathe into the stretch on the outside of your hip. Just inhale and exhale again. And switch. Place both feet down on the floor, left ankle on top of your right thigh. Okay. And then lift your right leg off the floor. 
left arm underneath your left leg and then either interlock your hands in front of your right shin or the back of your right thigh. Gently just pull your legs in towards your chest. Keep the breath simple here. Starting to wind down. All right, from here, release. We're just going to join the soles of your feet together. Place um, your feet down onto the floor. Let your knees open up to the sides. You can either place your hands on your inner thighs, just to weight them down a little bit. Or you can hold on to opposite elbows overhead. Whichever feels better for you. You're going to breathe into that relaxing stretch um, from, of your inner thighs. Just a couple of easy, long breaths. Wherever your hands are, you can bring them to the outside of your thighs. Use your hands to just join your legs back in towards each other. And stretch your legs out to the corners of your mat. Make small adjustments to your shoulders if you need to. Open your palms up towards the ceiling. Gently close your eyes. Allow your breath to get heavy. Allow the back of your body to sink into the floor. Allow your breath to flow. Final Shavasana. For those of you who like to continue to take your Shavasana, feel free to stay here. I'm going to take you gently out of Shavasana if you like. Start to deepen your breath little by little. Ever so slightly, just wiggle your fingers and your toes. Awaken the body. Join, the, join your feet together to touch. And stretch your arms out overhead. Yourselves a nice long stretch from toes to fingertips. On your exhale, bend your knees in and roll all the way over to your right side. So your left shoulder is stacked up on top of your right shoulder. Turn more towards the right side, press your left hand down, push yourself up. And find a comfortable seated position once again. Continue to keep your eyes closed, centering on your breath. Are you still staying with your inhale and exhale? Join your hands at your heart center. Bow down towards your fingertips. And thank yourself your own body, your own breath, and your own practice. I thank you. Thanks for joining us for sharing today's practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us in class. We are Freedom Yoga.
And if you'd like to, come visit us. If not, have a good night ahead. All right, guys, we're going to start off with a quick warm up. Okay, so coming down into the ground, nice and slow, nothing too crazy. We're going to push our hips into the ground, lock your arms out in position. And I want you guys to use this time to warm your neck up. All right, so we're going big clockwise motions, nice and slow, basking that sunlight on you. If you find a tight spot, just hold it there for a little while. And then we're going to go the other direction. So towards the left, anti-clockwise. Good. All right, now that our neck's warmed up, we're going to push our hips back towards our butt, our heels. And we're going to walk our hands out as far as they can go. Push your chest into the ground. Feel that stretch in your back, in your shoulders, in your arms. Couple deep breaths here. Two, one. All right, we're going to take our right arm. We're going to thread it towards our left. All right, so my right arm, thread it towards my left, palm facing up. I want you to put your body weight down, square your body so both shoulders try to come towards the ground. And if you can, we look to our right hand side here, so the opposite side of where your arm is. Good. Try to get all that body weight down onto your shoulder. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Left arm. Looking towards your left now. Couple deep breaths. Three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to warm our wrists up, all right? So we're going to take our hands. We're going to flip them. Have your fingers facing towards you. I want you guys to start at neutral, all right? So neutral is where you feel no discomfort, no pain whatsoever. And we're going to slowly lean back, lean back, push your palms into the ground until you reach your limit. And we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now we're going to take this arm circles. We're going to go big to the right, pushing our hands into the ground. Trying to get that full range of motion, really warming up our wrists for our skill work that we have later coming on. Big circles to the right. Good. And now big circles to the left. Two. One. Good. Let's take our right foot. We're going to bring it forwards. Left arm nice and straight. So right foot forwards, left arm nice and straight. I want you to lift that back foot, lift that back knee. Good. We're going to bring our right arm. We're going to bring our forearm to the ground, and we're going to open up to the sky. All, right. All the way up to the sky. If you're at home, I'd like you guys to do about 10 on one side, and then you're going to switch legs and give me 10 on the other. So it's four. Keep going. Five. Oh. All right. Good. Switch. Other leg, other arm. So right arm straight. Lift that back right knee. Bring your left forearm to the ground and up to the sky. Good. Nice, slow, and controlled. Getting primed for our workout. All right, three, two, and one. All right, shake it off. Shake it off, guys. Stand up, shake it off. So how this next portion is going to work, we have 12 minutes of work, all right? Six different exercises. We're going to be doing interval training. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, all right? Two sets per exercise. So I'm going to demonstrate the exercises within your 20-second break, and then we'll just go through it for 40 seconds. So our first exercise is a reverse push-up, all right? So a reverse push-up, you're going to start in the push high plank position, you're going to come down, chest all the way to the ground, then you're going to scrape your face across the ground and then back up. All right, are you ready? 40 seconds, let's go. Obviously, if you need to regress, you come down, lower your chest onto your knees, scrape that face towards the mat, and then come back up to the top, all right? So that's your re regression. Good, so this time we're working shoulders, working our chest, working our arms, and of course, we need to suck our belly button in when we're doing this, 
to engage our core as well. Squeeze those glutes at the top, coming down, pushing back, and up. All right, good. Nice work. We got about 12 seconds left, so you have time for about three more sets. Three more, three more reps. Almost there. All right, recover. 20 seconds. All right, so now we've got the movement down. We're gonna do it again. This time, we're gonna speed it up just a little bit, all right? So now that we're controlled, we can speed it up just a little bit. Reverse push-ups again. We've got about eight seconds. Remember, when I'm lowering myself, my hands are by my side, all right? My hands are right by my chest here, okay? Nothing above here, nothing too far back. Are you ready? Let's go. Second set, 40 seconds. And then you breathe, coming down. Exhale as you push back. Inhale as you come back up. Exhale as you push back. Inhale as you come back up. Good, nice and controlled for this reverse push up. Keep going, guys. Excellent, nice. All right, we've got 10 seconds left. Give me three more sets, three more reps. Eight, good. Suck that belly button in. Maintain that tight posture in that core, good. Three, two, and one. All right, rest, guys. Next exercise, low squat hold. So we're gonna start in our low squat hold. My torso is nice and flat. I'm gonna do step back lunges, all right? From here, I maintain a low posture and I step back right behind me. Got it, guys? Got it? All right, three, two, one, let's go. Stepping back. Nice and level with your body. We're gonna start feeling that burn in our legs. Staying nice and low, good. Remember to breathe, always breathe, all right? When we're doing these exercises. We're halfway there, keep it going. Good, stay low. And remember, this entire time, my lower back is nice and flat, all right? My lower back's nice and flat. I'm looking nice and straight, all right? 10 more seconds, keep going. Low, low, low. In three, two, one. Recover. Cool. One more set here. 20 seconds rest. Towel off, drink some water. You got about 13 seconds. If you need to, shake those legs out, all right? Shake those legs out. And remember, 90 degrees on your legs, all right? Thighs parallel to the ground. Getting ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Right and left, good. If you can, try to follow our tempo. Good. Halfway there, starting to feel that burn. How are we going, guys? <laughs> Remember, torso is lifted that entire time, okay? If you start to round your back, reset yourself before you go again. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, recover. Excellent work, guys. All right, next exercise, shoot throughs. All right, shoot throughs. We're gonna start in a bear hold position, so 90 degrees, knees underneath your hips. You're gonna have your shoulders stacked over the top of your wrist. From here, I'm gonna kick my left leg through to my right-hand side and bring my left hip to the ground. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side, all right? Nice little conditioning exercise. Three, two, one, let's go. Exhaling with every rep. Halfway there, keep it up. Always coming back to your bear hold position, all right? So this position is where you begin and it's where you end. Always start from this position and start your movement. Almost there. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, recover. 20 seconds rest. We go again, all right, 20 seconds rest. We go again. Now we're starting to sweat a little bit. Feeling good. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one, next set. All right, 10 seconds in, 30 seconds left. If you can. Speed it up.
Let's go. Keep going, keep going. 15 seconds. Come on. Nice, excellent form. Let's go, guys. Eight seconds left. Give me a few more. We got five, three, two, one. Recover. Very well done. 20 seconds. We're not done with the legs yet. Next exercise, commando squat jumps. Starting on our knees, we're gonna come up, right leg, left leg, squat jump, down, left leg, right leg, then left leg, right leg, up, and then back down. So all we're doing is alternating legs. We're coming up on our right, then we're coming up on our left. Ready? Let's go. And down, good. Alternating those legs, nice and high on that squat jump. We stay low, we load ourselves, and then we push. We stay low, we load ourselves, and then we push. And we try and get as high off the ground as we can. Here, let's go, 20 seconds, let's see it. Come on, ends up, very nice. Come on, Robs, come on, Robs. Nice, yes, breathe, very important. Exhale, inhale, as you come down. Three, two, last one, one, recover. Oh, we got some more friends coming in. Come on in. Come on in, come on in. Workouts are always more fun when there's more people around. There we go. All right. Are we ready for second set? Second set for you guys at home. Commando squat jumps. Let's go. So we start on our knees. Up, up, and jump. All right. Down. Left leg this time. Up, and jump. Good. So we load those legs. Very important that we load those legs. We keep that torso nice and upright and we breathe. We exhale the top and we try to propel our body forward as high as it can go. Nice. 15 seconds. Not there yet. Alternating, come on. We got five, three, two, one, recover. Hey, all right, hello, hello. Next exercise, body weight man makers. We're gonna start in our high plank position. We're gonna do one push up, one shoulder tap, one push up, one shoulder tap, one push up, kick out feet forward, and a little hop, all right? Regression, do the push ups on your knees. Are we ready? 40 seconds, three, two, one, let's go. If you need to go to your knees, that's fine. But when you do those shoulder taps, you keep your core nice and strong, and your hips square to the ground, all right? Hips square to the ground means they don't waver. When we suck in our belly button, let's go. Nice. For those of you at home who want a little extra push, we got a tuck jump at the end, all right? Let's go. Almost there, 10 seconds left. Keep going, guys. Good, good. Excellent push-ups. We got three, two, one. Recover. All right, now we're familiar with the movement, right? Familiar with the movement? We got a second set incoming. Choose your variation, choose your difficulty, and stick with it for the entire 40 seconds, all right? If that means doing all the push-ups on your feet, so be it. If it means doing it on your knees, also so be it. All right, are we ready? Second set, three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders stacked over the wrists. One shoulder tap, two, let's go. And hey, give me that tuck, huh? Give me that tuck. And we land soft, all right? Anytime we jump up high, bring our knees up, we have to absorb the shock and land nice and soft for the good of our knees. We got 20 seconds left, we're halfway. Stick with it, guys. Almost there. Good. In three, in two, and one. All right. We got one more left for you guys. One more exercise, chameleon sprawls. All right, chameleon sprawls. We're gonna work on that bounding strength of our legs. So back into our high plank position. We're gonna load our legs by pushing our butt back towards our heels, propelling ourselves forwards. So feet go where our hands are, and a nice little hop. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. High plank position, suck that belly button into your spine. Push it back, up, and a little hop. Kick those feet back, let's go. Load those legs up. Good, Navita. Excellent. Come on. Let's go. When you guys at home, it's your last body weight hit exercise. Keep it up. We have 20 seconds left. 
and breathe. We breathe. Inhale as you push back. Exhale as you jump forward. We're almost there. We're almost there. You got five. Yeah, Robs. Three, two, one. Recover. 20 second break. 20 second break. Nice. After this, no more hit, no more jumping, all right? All stationary skill work. So, getting ready, last set. Five. Onto our mats. Let's go. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Push. All the way. Once again, you want a little bit more of a challenge? We had that tuck. We had that tuck. Good. You guys tuned into our reason today. So let's get a good workout in. If you want to push yourself just a little more, take those progressions, add a little tuck, make it just a little bit harder for yourself. We have 15 seconds left. Woo. Yeah. All right. Five. Not there yet. Come on. Give me one more. Three, two, one. All right. Recover. We got a 50 second break here. Drink some water if you have it. Towel up. Shake out those legs, shake out those arms. We're gonna be moving into our core movements today, all right? All good? Oh, we're sweating. It's a very hot day out here. <laughs> all right, so we got 30 seconds till we begin. If you wanna just pay attention to me, I'll show you the first movement, all right? So our first movement, it's gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for two sets in total. So nothing too fancy. It's gonna be a planche lean, all right? So a planche lean, you're gonna take your thumbs and you're gonna point them upwards to my hands. Point out just a little bit. I'm going to come up. I'm going to push away from the ground. And I'm going to try and lean as forward as I can. All right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So for my planche lean, I'm going to try and lean as forward as I can. I'm going to suck my belly button into my spine. And I'm going to try and push away from the ground. So when I push away from the ground, I create that cavity in my chest. And it affords more lean and a stronger straight arm position. All right, halfway there, 15 seconds. Come on, Anya. Get back into it. Good. Nice, Mavita. Excellent. Come on, guys. Five seconds. Hold it. You got a 30 second rest after this. In three, two, one. Very nice. Recover. All right. So, the easiest way to do this, the regressed way, is just on your toes, just like this. But for those of you who are too comfortable in this position, we're going to lean forward. I'm going to go over the, onto the top of my toes. So my toes are just there for stability, all right? And I'm just gonna try and lean as far forward as I can. My hands can come to about where my abs are, okay? That's when I'm doing this, all right? Woo! Oh, it's hot, all right. Four seconds, are we ready? Three, two, one, one more time. Let's go, leaning forward. Pushing away from the ground, all right? So we're gonna round our back just slightly to push away from the ground. Let's go, come on. Tuck your belly button into your spine, squeeze your glutes, squeeze everything, everything that you've got. We want to activate every little mu muscle in our body, every little stable as a muscle in our body. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Hold it there. Come on, Novita. Two, one, recover. 30 second rest. Moving on to our next exercise. It's a hollow hold, all right? Very simple, or it looks very simple, all right? We're just going to start by lying on the ground. My feet are gonna to be together. I'm gonna to raise them just slightly off the ground and I'm going to keep my palms up, roll off the ground. So all I'm doing is keeping my lower back glued to the ground, all right? So just my lower back is in position here. Everything else, we try and raise, all right? 30 seconds, getting ready in three, two, one, let's go. Good, feet together, squeeze those feet together, squeeze those knees together, very nice. Point your toes if you can, if this is fighting too easy for you, with your hands behind the head. Hands behind the head, palms facing up. Very nice. Breathe, all right, guys? Breathe, breathe. Control that breathing. Find your zen. You have 10 seconds left. Good, good. Feet together, knees together. Come on. Holding that position. Legs straight. Almost there. Three, two, one. Recover. We got one more set here. <laughs> Looks easy, but it's deceivingly hard. Remember, if you have home plates, if you have dumbbells, you can hold them in your palms as well. You can hold them above you. It really doesn't matter. What's important is that we keep our legs nice and straight. We point our toes, we flex our toes, and we keep our knees and feet together. All right? 
Also, lower back in the ground the entire time. The moment we start to arch our lower back is when we're not using our core anymore. Three, two, one, second set. Hollow holds. Woo! Deep breath. Feet together, Hanya. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> eyes in front of the eyes in front of the eyes. Hands in front of the eyes. <laughs> it's the sun. Ten seconds, guys. Hold it. Hold it. Come on. Come on. Lower back into the ground. Don't don't stop now. Three, two, one. Recover. Excellent. All right. We got one more movement here. All right, guys. One more movement. It's a reverse plank. So it's exactly what it sounds like. All right. We're going to have our hands behind our body. For some of you guys, it might be easier if your thumbs are pointed away from you. Some of you, thumbs pointed towards you, okay? But for me, thumbs pointing away, a bit easier. From here, all I'm gonna do is push my hips up, squeeze my glutes, and try to keep my arms nice and straight and bask in that sunlight. Oh my God. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Feet together, knees together. Good. And if you're doing this right, you're bound to start shaking. You're bound to start shaking. Let's go, come on guys. Hips up, we're halfway there, 15 seconds. Deep breath, deep breath. 10, good. In five seconds, three, two, one, recover. Shake off your arms, we got one more set here. Good, okay, remember, butt up, all right? We wanna squeeze those glutes, we wanna make a really nice strong bridge with our core. Really nice strong bridge with our plank position. All right, we got about 15 seconds left. All right, got a lot of sunscreen on your face, folks. <laughs> Are we ready, guys? Second set, three, two, one, let's go. Reverse plank. Very nice, very nice. Try not to strain your neck, all right? Just look straight up. We think about a line from our feet all the way to the top of our head. So we want one straight line. We don't want one part coming up like this or coming down like this, all right? To avoid any spinal problems, we want to keep one straight line. Excellent, good. Relax your neck, Navita. Seven seconds, yeah, there we go. In three, two, one, very nice. All right, onto our final portion, all right? Just a little body weight, dynamic core, okay? So just core, we're gonna be on our backs this entire time. We have three movements, all right? 20 seconds on. 20 seconds off. Our first move is a knee tuck. So knee tuck, leg straight, bring our knees towards our chest. Our second move, straight leg raises, all the way up, all the way down. And then third move, we're gonna combine them both. We're gonna do a knee tuck into our burst crunch pike. All right, so the only difference is I raise my hips. Cool, are we ready? Two, one, let's go. Knee tucks first, 20 seconds of knee tucks. Good, knees together, feet together. Knees together, feet together. We extend those legs out. Keep it going. Good. Good. Legs come all the way out and they hover just a little bit off the ground. Three, two, one, recover. 20 seconds recovery. Next movement, straight leg raises. Straight leg raises, exactly what they sound like. Keep those feet nice and together. Legs nice and straight. We just go up and we go down nice and controlled. Nothing too fast, nothing too fancy, all right? Three, two, one, let's do it. We exhale, right? We exhale as we bring our legs up. Inhale on the way down. We're not doing the pike yet. Just do the straight leg raise. Just go up and down, all right? Just up and down. The pike is for later. Keep going, guys. We got three, two, one. Very nice. Now we're going to combine the two movements. We've got the knee tuck. We have the straight leg raise. We're moving into the reverse crunch pike. So the only difference, remember, is my legs come in and they shoot straight up and I try to lift my butt off the ground, push my hips into the air, work a little more of my lower core. All right, 20 seconds on here. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's see it. Feet together, feet together. Keep those feet together. Good. Point those toes at the end. Point those toes at the top. We exhale as you push your body up into the sky, controlling that movement, controlling that descent, controlling that push. Very nice. Let's go. Rest, 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 rest. All right, that's one set. We're gonna do that two more times. All three exercises, all right? Not long now, all right? Not long now. 
20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're back to knee tucks. We got four seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Knee tucks. Legs straight. Knees to chest. Legs straight. Knees to chest. Good. Control that breathing. Good. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Recover. All right. For those of you that's starting to get tough, you're going to start putting your feet onto the ground a bit more. We try to avoid that, all right? We try to just keep our feet right off the ground, hovering just an inch off the ground, and we'll get the maximum out of this exercise. Are we ready? You got a partner at home? I can show you what you can do with a partner. Three, two, one. Let's go, Rob. Up and down. Good. Up and down. Up and down. Good. This is just one way that we can make the exercises harder. I can throw his legs to the right. I can throw his legs to the left. Or I can just keep them straight. How are you doing? Almost there. Come on. Let's go. Three, two, one. Recover. All right. Third exercise. Reverse crunch pike. We already know how to do them, right? We already know how to do these exercises. We're progressing towards the hardest form. Obviously, if the hardest form is a bit too difficult for you right now, just go back to your straight leg raises. Just go back to your knee tucks. You can do anything, any variation. Just stick with it. All right, are you ready? Let's go. 20 seconds. And breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come on. Two, one. All right, recover. One more set. One more set. One more minute of work. And you can go enjoy your beautiful day. All right. All good. How's everyone doing? We've made it. One minute. One minute left. All right. All right. Back to our knee tucks. Three, two, one. Let's see them. Legs nice and straight, and then back in. Remember, if you can, legs as close to the ground as possible. They hover just a little bit above the ground. Good. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. You want to keep that stability in our core. Nothing fancy here. Five, three, two, one. Recover. All right, two more straight leg raises. Woo. All right. Almost there. 10 seconds. Get yourselves ready. Let's try and do this set without stopping whatsoever, all right? And our feet don't touch the ground. Point those toes. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. Squeeze. Straight legs. Keep your legs nice and straight. Yes, legs nice and straight. Feet together as we come up and we come down. Working those lower abs. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Keep going. We got three. We got two. One. Recover. All right, 20 seconds rest and last 20 seconds of work. You give me your best set of reverse crunch pikes, all right? Best set of reverse crunch pikes and we're done. We call it a day, huh? We ready, boys? Boys, ready, guys? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Final exercise, knee tuck, the straight leg raise. Give me that pike, come on. Push your hips up, high as they can go. High as they can go, squeeze. Squeeze that core. Almost there. Almost there. We got three. We got two. Up, up, up. We got one. Ah, recover. We're done. Congratulations. Well done. Good work. Good work. Good work. All right. For those of you at home, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. My name is Alex. I'm from Riot. If you're ever in Singapore, come check us out. All right. See ya.